Hello everyone. This is probably the most frequently asked question on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, most many parents keep asking uh, me this question: How do we get the, our children to do visual calculations or mental calculations? How do we t uh, teach them this technique of uh, mental calculations and so on? So I have been replying to them individually, but uh, this question, since it's coming so frequently, I thought it's best I explain this uh, the concept behind this visual calculation ability to everyone via the, a video. So please understand what I'm trying to say in this video, and please do implement it in uh, your child's daily abacus practice. Okay. First and foremost, I would like to say that Abacus course is no magic wand. So that means uh, just uh, admitting your child to an Abacus cl class uh, and then expecting him to be able to do mental calculations or visual calculations within a few weeks time uh, is not going to help. Okay. Uh, sincere regular practice of Abacus is extremely important to gain those several benefits associated with it and visual calculation ability is just one of those benefits. So please do remember just attending a class is not important. Doing its practice on a daily basis, on a regular basis, very sincerely is very important for a few minutes every day. It's not required that, uh, in fact, on uh, normal school days, it's, it, it's difficult to for the children to spare a substantial time for abacus practice on a daily basis because of lots of study work and extracurricular uh, classes and all. And, but 15 to 20 minutes is something that is required for uh, to be spared for abacus practice on a daily basis so that the child can ultimately benefit from all those uh, abilities or improvements in the brain's abilities. I'll explain these things in, in this uh, video today. Uh, during the lockdown period that we are going through right now over the last uh, six or seven months, uh, several kids have used the time constructively. They have watched uh, my videos to understand the methods and uh, uh, do the practice as well. The, some of them have ordered my workbooks too so that they could pra sincerely pr do practice of those abacus methods and then gain uh, confidence and speed of doing the same. And they have benefited from it and they were able to spare extra time on a daily basis since the schools are currently uh, uh, online and not offline. So they are uh, they are at home most of the time and we were able to spare more time for abacus practice. Uh, on, a, on a regular school days, once it's, the schools reopen again, uh, I would still suggest that 15 to 20 minutes is something that a child should be ready to spare for abacus practice so that uh, those benefits come to him. Okay, Just once a week attending the class once a week or doing the practice just once or twice in a week is just not enough. Then the next most important point is this visualization as an ability. It's, it has to be developed in the child's brain. Remember, this ability is possible to be developed only in case of children, not in case of adults. Okay, so in most cases over the last nine years, what I have seen is this ability is possible to be developed uh, in children who are under 12 or 13 years of age. Uh, earlier the better I means six or seven or eight year old children develop it much faster than 11 or 12 or 13 year old kids the same amount of practice will have different effects on different age brackets. I have explained uh, this concept in a separate video. So I'm sharing the link in the description below. Please do have a look at that. But uh, it's very important that this ability is possible to be developed only in case of children, not in case of adults. Okay, in any amount of practice for, in, for adults won't help them develop this ability as uh, it's possible in case of children and this ability is uh, developed it cannot be taught that's the most important point so please don't expect uh, an abacus class teacher to teach the, your child uh, this ability this uh, technique of visual calculation it's only the child's own regular practice will ultimately help him uh, generate this or develop this ability to be able to do visual calculations with by just imagining the abacus and not actually touching the abacus. So this needs a considerable amount of practice. It needs about, I'll explain this in the next few points here today. Um, 
firstly whenever a, a child starts his abacus course it starts with getting him familiarized with the abacus so understanding of numbers on the abacus then doing simple calculations on it then learning the use of different addition and subtraction formulas with uh, smaller numbers and then as he gains confidence in using those formulas with smaller numbers he progresses then to larger numbers and so on so as he continues doing regular practice he is gaining confidence he is gaining speed of doing those abacus calculations uh, doing addition and subtraction sums on the abacus and this speed ultimately means at some point when he reaches a decent speed on the abacus it starts generating good amount of exercise for the child's brain and this exercise is the most important aspect of the abacus course okay all, the, all these benefits associated with abacus scores are the result of this brain exercise so uh, if a child does regular practice on a daily basis then his or her brain is getting a regular dose of brain exercise on a daily basis and this regular dose will ultimately help improve or develop all these abilities in the child's brain so this please remember this point very it's very important next visualization is just one of the abilities that gets developed or enhanced in a child's brain due to this regular or sincere abacus practice i have explained uh, several other things associated with abacus scores in a separate video please do have a look the video is titled things to know before you begin your abacus scores okay i have created this video a couple of months ago and many people have given a positive response to that that uh, they didn't know many, many of those things i have shared in it so please do have a look at those that video if have, you haven't seen it yet i'm sharing the link of this video as well in the description below okay so that you can easily access it so visualization is a, just one of the abilities i have just mentioned uh, including several other benefits that i have detailed in the other video and be, because of this ability uh, okay development of this ability in the child's brain the child will be able to imagine the abacus to do the calculations okay so uh, when does it start the most important other question is when does visual uh, ability start in my abacus scores what i have done is in the stage 1 workbook i have not included a single visual calculation sum okay not a single sum because in stage 1 uh, the more uh, important priority is to help the child learn and understand all the formulas to be used in case of addition and subtraction now in stage 2 he has already learned all the formulas then he is getting more familiarized with all those formulas with a slightly larger numbers he is gaining confidence he is gaining speed of doing calculations on the abacus and this ultimately starts generating that brain exercise that i was talking about and so in the second half of stage 2 workbook i have included i have started with some visual calculation sums uh, with simple numbers smaller numbers uh, to begin with and then as the child progresses through the higher stages the uh, difficulty level for even the visual calculation sums keeps improving okay remember at uh, at no point of time do i suggest or do i recommend that a child should stop using the abacus completely okay throughout the course throughout the course right up to stage 5 of my abacus course the higher priority is always given to sums doing larger and larger or more complex addition and subtraction sums on the abacus okay remember on the abacus sums is more important and uh, definitely as the complexity of the sums is increasing the child is also gaining more confidence more speed so that speed aspect is also extremely important why because this is what ultimately is generating much higher amount of brain exercise whenever a child is doing larger addition and subtraction sums on the abacus at faster speeds this generates much much more amount of brain exercise and so the focus throughout the course is more of doing the sums on the abacus 
द विजुअल कैलकुलेशन एबिलिटी इज एन आउटपुट और अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस प्राइमरी ब्रेन एक्सरसाइज ओके सो नेवर इग्नोर दिस एस्पेक्ट थ्रू आउट द कोर्स विजुअल एबिलिटी इज गुड इट्स इट हैज टू बी होम इट हैज टू बी डेवलप इट हैज टू बी प्रैक्टिस मोर एंड मोर एज वी प्रोग्रेस बट एट द सेम टाइम वी शुडंट इग्नोर डूइंग दोज लार्जर एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन सम्स ऑन द एबेकस बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट अल्टीमेटली इज जनरेटिंग मच मोर ब्रेन एक्सरसाइज Uh, some people consider that uh, multiplication do a uh, child is do, able to do multiplication or division sums very easily and so he has gained a lot but i would say that is just a, an output uh, multiplication and division sums in itself do not generate much uh, for brain exercise okay even three digit into one digit or four digit into one digit multiplication sums do not generate much of brain exercise yes the brain exercise that was generated through the addition and subtraction sums ultimately help the child get comfortable with those uh, multiplication and division sums so please remember this focus on this aspect throughout the course now those who haven't seen uh, many of my abacus videos yet i would like to tell you that i have covered each and every uh, concept or each and every method of abacus calculation in all my videos right from number identification to use of uh, different addition subtraction formulas then to higher difficulty sums then even in case of multiplication and division i started with basic multiplication with two digit into one digit or in case of division with uh, two digit divided by one digit kind of sums and then to higher difficulty multiplication and division sums as well and even at the end there is a, i have explained the subtraction borrowing method which is a part of uh, uh, final stages of my abacus scores okay so i have explained each and every concept arithmetic concept to be used on the abacus through several of my videos in both languages hindi as well as english uh to, so if you would like to have convenient access to all these uh, videos i would suggest that you please uh, check out the playlist section of my channel i have been uh, creating separate playlist so that it's easy for you to access stage wise videos or topic wise videos uh so that you can easily learn uh, easily reach what you wish to learn what you wish to understand and then you can help uh, practice this can ultimately help you practice better okay and for those who would like to have a look at the details of the stage wise workbooks that i'm offering so that a person a learner can uh, do the ab abacus practice sitting at home by watching those videos they can obviously understand the concept but they need something to practice right so i'm offering my stage wise workbooks as well so those who would like to know the details please check out the blog link that, that i mentioned here i'll be sharing the link in the description below as well so you, so that you can easily access it okay thank you